Hello, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. So I feel like no matter what you do in life, you always have to go back and see where you started from. Even if it's a little jump scare or it's really cringy as hell. So that's what we're doing today. I was looking at some of the gel polish I had and I was like, oh, this trigger when not trigger because that sounds bad but this reminded when he, me when I did this nail set so I went back on my iPad and was looking at some nail designs that I did two years ago when I just started out doing nails didn't know nothing about nothing um <laughs> just starting out a newbie and yep there, oh, there it goes there it goes so yeah I did these nails two years ago uh part of my wedding nail Wednesday series so um a lot of the gel polish that i have is old but i don't use it like on myself or on actual people i just use it for nail art and stuff the ones that i have up to date is what i use on clients so you know just so we put that out there but yeah um so this set is basically just using all the gel polish well most of the gel polishes that came in this beetles um gel polish set it was called like the mauve I hope I'm saying that way, right. The Mauve Wedding. It was like supposed to be for like wedding nails or whatever. Um, it's still on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon. Um, I have a screenshot somewhere in this video and I'll have the link below. But yeah, I just wanted to recreate this nail set. I did not do the 3D flower. When I did that flower, I used carving gel. Um, but now it seems like it's really easy to do 3D flowers with the, um, like the solid glue gel. Um, so yeah, I will try to do carving gel again. Um, I have another nail set that I'm planning on recreating from like three years ago. So yeah, um, it's just good to see how far I've come and especially going to nail school and learning like proper techniques and just learning the basics uh, although this is cringy as hell seeing you know past videos like <laughs> just seeing how I edit I mean I'm still horrible with taking nail photos but my editing has gotten a lot better like especially with what I use because I have a MacBook Air um so I use Final Cut Pro you know just editing getting more comfortable doing voiceovers um what I haven't really done is listen to like my old videos. I'll watch it, but I'll watch them on mute because just listening to myself is so cringy. Um, Cause like two, three years ago when I first started this channel, I didn't really know what I was gonna do with this channel. I didn't even think I would keep up with it. Um, fun fact, many, many moons ago, I did have a YouTube channel where I would like review uh, popular shows going on at the time. But that was more like, face to face and I don't really want to show my face so you know doing nails I guess I kept up with this because it's behind the scenes you guys really don't see my face you see a picture like and that picture is needs to be updated because no I think I just updated recently but before that picture was like during the pandemic that's how old that picture was I think the picture I have now is a picture from when I was in nail school so it's pretty recent but anyway I think everybody no matter what industry you're in especially if it's something like nails or you know maybe makeup just to go back and see where you've come from and just appreciate the journey um that's what this is for me um but yeah so in real life not content creator world i finally found a job at a salon so um my fish my official day is First day, oh, I'm getting tongue tied. My official start date is Saturday. I had training yesterday. I also had training last week where I went to go sign in, sign paperwork, and I had to fill out a W 4 form. The last time I filled out a W 4 form was 2014. So in 2014, that's the last time I got hired for a job, and then I, um, I had that job until I was laid off. And the W-4s have drastically changed. When I was looking at it, I had to ask my husband. I was like, what is this? Because he recently had to fill out a W-4 form. The only thing I remember about filling out those forms was that you had to put the amount of dependents. And at that time, 2014, I only had two dependents. So life was really easy. But now you have to do calculations. And me and Mav, we don't go together like that. 
So yeah, I had to go on the IRS website. I had to bring up YouTube because I wanted to fill this out perfectly because I don't want no trouble with the IRS. Everybody make sure y'all out there making sure y'all telling the truth on those forms. Don't be lying because they going to know. But yeah, just to fill it out, I was like, oh my gosh, I really have a job. I haven't been hired for a job since 2014. Um, even when I do these apps, I'm a freelancer. So I... I don't even have like a 1099 form with them. I just have to uh, keep track of my income and, um, you know, write my expenses when that time comes. But I even think when I file my taxes next year that they're probably even going to they're probably going to laugh when I do my taxes because I think under a certain mon amount of money, you can't even file anyway. So, yeah, but anyway, I start at a salon and it's a full service salon and spa it's a medi spa also so they do everything in there they do hair they do makeup they do eyebrows they do eyelashes they do botox they do weight loss shots they have a nurse on staff there's a barbershop in the back the place is so huge there's so many doors it's not even funny um so there was another nail tech that i was training with um i'm not sure how many of us are going to be on the schedule because it is kind of like commission but i knew like they were really really legit because they have a whole hr department so i met with the eight the manager and she's head of the hr so i was like okay good my my paperwork getting signed is in good hands like everybody there has been in the beauty world for over 20 years or more so it's like I know I'm good <laughs> with getting my paperwork signed um but yeah I went to training yesterday the salon was actually closed so um I worked on um I think she's probably like guest services but I worked on her like just learning how they do their manicures and pedicures and then the owner came in and she was like how do you like everything how's it going so I was nervous, of course, because this is new, but once I started, it was just, like, fitting right in, you know, like, getting my questions answered. Everybody was really chill. Um, state board happened to come in yesterday, and it was just like, oh, my God, state board is here. Like, the whole vibe just changed. Not bad, but it was just, like, everybody was, like, on edge while he was there. So, um, yeah, uh, Saturday is when I actually start. So, so far, I don't know what the clientele is going to be like. From what they've been telling me is all these clients have um, been coming to them for years. So, it's like, yay, but nay, because, you know, I'm new. Are they going to be accepting that I'm new to this? Like, so, you know, are they going to be gracious? But yeah, I'm excited and nervous all in one. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I could not stop yawning, but um, I'm very excited. I do know that most of the clientele has been coming to them for years because the owner of the salon, um, she's been in the industry for like five decades. So now her daughters are basically running it. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. We have a team meeting coming up in a couple of weeks. So I feel like very official. <laughs> like this is a job job. Um, I wasn't going to take it only because I'm just like, I just really want my 30 days. Um, it was putting me in the mind of like retail, especially like they have a blackout season um, where you can't take off any days because it's all hands on deck, which I get. But I was like, oh, my gosh, this feels like Macy's because I used to work retail. And I was like, Ugh. working Macy's, working Coles is a great time. But I'm just like, I, I don't want that aspect. But um, because it's nails, you know, I can overlook it. Um now they don't really talk about upselling and stuff like that but they do have different manicures like they have a mini manicure pedicure they have an ultimate manicure pedicure they have a cbd manicure pedicure um so it's all the same steps that i pretty much learned in school i would say more so it's just learning the products like what goes for what like um yesterday we did a full pedicure and manicure and then last week we did like a mini um pedicure so it was like okay like you know be cautious of your time um about a quarter to 
this time you should be lotioning and you know putting getting ready to polish so um yeah it's just you know learning the ropes um I hadn't never used a salt scrub before, but let me tell you, that makes your hand feel so soft. Like, I use, like, a regular scrub in, um, when I'm in the bath or whatever, like, when I take my shower. But a salt scrub, that, like, changed my life yesterday when I was doing the full manicure. And I was like, oh, my gosh, your hands are so soft. Like, it was, like, baby bottom soft. That's how soft it was. But, yeah, um, I do know we're on commission, which makes me worry because it's, like... If you don't have a client, you don't get paid. Where the salon is, it's a lot of traffic. There's a shop right. There's a Jersey Mike's. There's a eyeglass place. So um, the manager was like, you guys can go out and market yourself and, you know, start bringing customers in. And I'm, believe it or not, I'm really shy. Like, once I get to know people, I'm able to talk to them. It flows. But to go out there and like put myself out there, it's like, you want me to do that? And I guess that's because nobody really walks in everything. Like there's a whole system. There's an app where you can see the appointments for the clients. It's like official, official. Like, <laughs> so it's just, yeah, I got to get used to marketing myself and trying to bring, bring clients out. And, um, but yeah, I'm excited, as I said, and nervous because you know it's new it's like not saying at the last salon like i didn't have to learn the customers but you know anybody can come in and walk in and say hey can i get a manicure and a pedicure can i get a full set with that it's like you have to go online you have to book you know there's time slots for things um but yeah so we'll see saturday i know the holidays is about to start happening and that's when they get very very busy so, so far, I'm only working two days. I'm only working Wednesday nights and then Saturday from opening to closing. And I'm kind of like, oh, my Saturdays are gone because, you know, I don't really be doing that on Saturday. But I just like to re relax, rest. I, I was about to combine the words rest and relax. But anyway, that's what's going on. So soon I'll have an update about my first day working in like a big girl salon. So um, right here. With this back to this nail set, I found some gems in my drawer. I don't even know where these came from. I don't know if I ordered them like off Shein or something, or if they might have come with some type of nail gel polish thing. I don't know. But anyway, I had them and they're like square. They, I don't, they, I don't know. But I was trying to turn it into a diamond. But it wasn't working out. So I just made square. And I just thought that this put the whole thing together. I didn't add a 3D flower. I wasn't even thinking about doing a 3D flower. I didn't even remember what these nails looked like. I just remember using the colors. So yeah, the only color that I didn't use from this gel polish collection was the gold glitter. But everything else I pretty much used. So on Amazon, they're marketing it now as a fall color collection. When I first bought it, it was like for weddings um, or bridal is how they were thing. Um, I think I also unboxed it before. So I might have a screenshot there. Probably not because I really wasn't screenshotting stuff back then when I was editing. But I am going to put those videos up so this way you guys can be tortured like me and cringe and see how far I've come with editing and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I have another video coming out hopefully this week of me. Um, it's going to be two nail sets that I did but I'm going to combine them into one. So I hope to have that out before the week is over. If not, I definitely have it next week. I'm not finished with that one yet. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. So be good to you. Be good to others. Bye.